Today we're going to learn how to create a morning check-in with your students as we all have to do e-learning. Uh, this is a great way to check in with your students and make sure that you know they are logging in, they are on, and that they are participating with you. So first things first, let's get to our Google Drive. Um, once you're inside your Google Drive, we're going to create a new Google Form. If you never created a Google Form before, this is a great way to just get started with it and kind of play around with the settings. So we're going to call this morning check-in. Uh, I'm a big fan of, so this is the title. Notice if you just click right up here in the top left, you'll the title will pop up. We have morning check-in, which is great. Um, my color preference, I usually like blue. It's just like a cool, nice, calming color. Uh, what we're going to do is keep this open to all students. So first thing I want to do is hit their name. We're going to make it required so that they cannot submit this without their name. Then what we want to do is create a new question. And I usually have uh, the same questions through all my morning check-ins. So first one is, how are you feeling today? This gives the students an opportunity to uh, chat with you, talk with you. Again, I make this uh, required. So this button right here makes it required. You cannot move forward. You cannot submit it without having this required button. Another question that I do like to ask is, why are you feeling that way? Again, uh, making this required. This is just having students to check in, getting them to check in with you while you are taking care of other things. You can read some of the responses later on through that day. Uh, last thing that I like to do is ask, um, would you like a teacher to check in on you. I'll make this a yes or no question. I usually leave the maybe out of there and just say yes or no. Uh, this is a great way just to get in touch with your children and make sure you can uh, get it, get in touch with them, specifically at the beginning of the day. Now, once you're all done with that, what we can do is you can hit collect email responses. I suggest don't do that. I also suggest do not uh, add limit to one response. Maybe students want to check in later again that day. Um, presentation, I usually have them show the progress bar. Um, uh, this is not a quiz, so there's no reason to do that. Next, all you want to do is go right up here to where it says send. You're going to have your email. I usually shorten it. Sorry, not your email, your web address. Take this, <coughs> plug it into wherever you communicate with the students, usually through a Google Classroom or uh, maybe a Google site that you created. Copy it, paste it in there. And once uh, students have it and they can respond to it, you can just click right here, go to responses, uh, and you'll see the responses pop up here. You can also click on this button where it says create spreadsheets, and this will put everything into a nice spreadsheet for you. So we're going to do that right now. It usually takes about a minute or two uh, to get this loaded. Uh, but here you go. You'll have all the students' responses, and this way you can communicate with the students and kind of see uh, how they're feeling that day, uh, if you need to check in with them or not. Uh, this is a good thing to do, not even just e-learning, but this is a great way to have your students start the day. Have them, um, you know, how you feeling? This way you can take a quick look and see, hey, maybe Mr. Nagru is not having a great day today, so maybe I, I won't, won't be on his case as much. All right, hope this helps. Have a, have a great day. Bye-bye.